Hey, welcome back to another week at Square Max Customs. This week's gonna be a little different. I don't have a will it run, but uh, we're gonna work on Maxine, my square body Duramax swap. So I don't know what it is, but you buy a lift kit and the front's always a little bigger than the lift blocks they uh, give you in the back. So like my truck, the back naturally squats just a little bit. It's not crazy like, you know, some of, uh, well to each their own you know we're not getting into that subject but it's a few inches off and when i put a trailer on it she sags a bit so like the front she's right about 13 inches where the back is like 10 and a quarter so we'll call the back 10 inches because I got a little air in the bag. So right off the bat, it don't really look like it, but there's a three inch difference. So, I mean, you imagine we throw the trailer on that and then I would guess there's like a six or seven inch difference. We got the bags in now, so it ain't as bad, but I'd really like to level this out. And uh, I'd like for you guys, maybe one of you lift kit gurus could uh, explain to me why is it like that? Why why do we buy a six inch lift and get five inch blocks for the back? I don't I don't understand. I'm so confused. So if any of you know, pop it down there in the comments. Uh, I'll check them out later and I'll you know respond. Where are you going, princess? I'm gonna come off you. Oh, daddy's just talking about the truck. So that's this week's uh, adventure. Oh, I was on Marketplace a few months ago. And uh, the old marketplace gods, they got me. Part of the reason we're doing all this is because we found a deal on traction bars. Check out them. Well, I think it was a deal. I don't remember what we paid for it. It was a while ago. But we gotta put it all together. And uh, came with new U-bolts and everything. So if we have to take it all apart to put these brackets on, well, we might as well cut these leaf springs up because that's how we're going to gain our uh, springage. We'll turn it into a one ton, I guess, essentially. And then I uh, went to the old Walmart and I was looking for one of the tips. You know, I don't what happened to the tips that spray like this, like, you know, a nice two or three or four inch pattern. I can't, every single can had one of these. Well, I got irritated and was like, you know what, whatever, I'll just buy engine paint. Well, I bought ceramic coat and exhaust paint, so. Uh, we'll see how that does. It should, it'll be fine. If not, we'll sand it down and paint all that stuff later. So stick with me. The little one sand and everything for us today. She's a good helper. She might be the camera lady later. Uh, we got everything roughly sanded. I ain't going crazy. I mean, I just wanted to get some of the rust off of it. We're gonna wash it down real quick with something, maybe, probably. I don't know. Uh, when you do these, you should put a clamp on here because there's there's a lot of spring pressure in here. But there's a little pin here. The block, lift block, well, if you don't have a lift block of rear end, that'll sit in the rear end. That way, your stuff can't go all crazy once you get a uh, goose in it and giving her all the beans. But uh, we're going to pull this out. That way, we can get these springs apart. And uh, once we get ours all apart, hopefully, we can go to the old Riley's and uh, they can give us one that's longer. And we can put it back in because you, you need this. And you don't just want to shove anything in there. Although if we have to, we, you know, we will buy some, you know, nice heavy grade bolt and come back and grind it round on this side and make it work because I've done it in the past. But word of advice, put some clamps on that. You get it all sanded, baby? What's that? Yeah, wash your hands off, girly. All right, uh, we're gonna clean this and bring it outside and, you know, rebuild on it, make it pretty. 
I think pretty, I don't know, ceramic coating. How's that stuff work? I've never actually sprayed that. Is it still like a paint? It says it's a flat black. Uh, we'll find out once we start spraying it. We'll find out together, uh, you know, all of us. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Usually I don't even have to hold this end, just the pressure from the spring on it. We'll do it. And boom, right there's an inch alone. Keep your little spacers. And then, uh, this can be tricky, but they're usually not too bad. I don't know if these are uh, riveted. I think that's just like a little pin that pins them in. But uh, we'll pull the rest of them apart and get back to you guys. Oh hey, check it out, before I forget, I figured out how these things come off. You just bzz, cut them right off with the death wheel, and then boom, they come right apart. That's so much easier than trying to uh, get that out. You don't, you don't need to get that out, don't you worry about that. Well, they're painted. They don't look too bad. Uh, I guess you should probably powder coat them because I tried. I mean, I must have put four or five coats on them, but you'll never get all down inside here real good with paint unless it was dipped. But either way, whatever, we're not worried about that. And it's uh, like a flat satin, flat black, which is fine because when we originally did this, I don't know, whenever I built it, a year and a half ago now, I did the frame sat in black, but that was, that was a year and a half ago. It's a flat black now, so it'll match perfect, no problem. But there's like four or five coats on everything. That should uh, hopefully keep it all from rusting. It ain't perfect, but I mean, it's going on a work truck with scratches. If I make it look all shiny and brand new, it won't match the truck. Well, this is Maxine. Pretty much my everything truck. Uh, but she's my shop truck. That's what she was built for. She uh, started life as a 1988 R30, which uh, meant two wheel drive. She was a long bed dually. Uh, since then, she's been converted to an independent front suspension. Uh, four by four. She was a 350. Now she has the 6.6 Duramax diesel. So uh, a lot of new school stuff going on with this truck. Uh, I also converted her to a short bed. Well, it's technically a short bed extended two, three inches, something in here I extended it. Uh, pretty much everything on this truck was custom. Completely built the back bumper. Uh, I got tired of looking for one that I was gonna have to customize anyways to fit. So we just went and got a bunch of scrap. Um, I'll show you guys more of this truck another day. I keep telling myself and you guys and girls and everybody else that uh, I'll build a I'll make a video on it. I built this before I uh, thought about YouTube But uh, she's just pieced together. 
she's pretty much got all the electrical from the 2002 lb7 is what we put in it it's got the newer dash in it well o2 cluster but i kept the square body dash built the center console cup holders need cup holders square bodies Whew. i don't know spilt one too many coffees between the leg uh i put 90 six i think it was silverado headlights in it they would have had like that two piece this is a 91 suburban front end uh i don't know we could go on and on about that but that's not what we're here for um i put bags on her a while ago now i was sort of smart look at this tip i laid this thing out i was like it won't be that bad and i welded it up and i was like holy cow that's a five gallon uh drum but either way she's loud she's obnoxious no well, not really i mean she's she is what she is to each their own let's see if we can add a couple springs oh i had to put this rotor on a brake was hanging up and meme in the field it oh it's still smooth okay good oh i never uh i never bolted the bottom because i knew i wanted to get back in here and add a little bit you know so that'll be easy to undo but we also have to modify something for that so we get our two inches or whatever we gain back. Uh, I know the rims and tires aren't for everybody, but that's that's my taste. I like new school deep dish rims on an old school truck. That's that's me. I don't, you know, I prefer the tires not to have that little cup. It's not horrible, but uh, it is what it is. Oh yeah, we're not showing you the truck in this video. I'm sorry. All right, like I pulled everything inside. These are probably the springs that we'll use. I got it. I got extra blocks. I just didn't really want to double blocks up on it. But we might go that way. I don't know. I'm hoping to add some leaf springs because, well, I'd, I'd rather do it this way. But uh, we'll probably end up cutting these somewhere. I don't, I don't know where because we don't, we don't need the whole thing. Here's all our pieces, painted or ceramic coated or whatever. I don't know what they sold me, what I grabbed. you guys can see this is what i'm talking about so this is a six inch suspension lift that's what this truck has but look at the blocks like four and a half inches almost five maybe four and three quarter inches so i mean i don't i don't really understand how all that works the lift kit itself Ugh. if you come up here measure from center to center is six so we lose an inch and a half with just buying the lift kit how, i don't understand how that works and then most of the time i've come to realize i'm probably wrong here but uh four by four chevys always sit a little bit higher in the front i got a two-wheel drive duramax out there the ass ends the rear end sits I don't know, I'd say three inches higher than the front. It blows my mind. That one's two-wheel drive, but the four-wheel drive, the front ends always sit a little freaking higher. I don't get it. Hey, I found that 11 millimeter wrench I was missing. Sometimes you got to use what you got to use for a bracket. Plus, I mean, that's custom. when you go on marketplace and you just you buy stuff that's might fit your truck it it didn't fit uh that, i'm not saying it couldn't fit but i broke my welder a few episodes ago and well I, I i don't i don't have the money to go buy a new welder so i can't modify it like that uh for one and for two i thought the u-bolts were longer than my u-bolts maybe by like a quarter inch 
So we're probably not gonna be able to add any leaf springs to bring the booty of this truck up. So no booty lift. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Here, I'm gonna bring you down. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll show you, right? I'm gonna show you, ready? Look, well, you can't see on that side. But, I mean, it's in, sorta, just roughed in. Look at it. Yeah, it's right, it's right there at the end. See it? There's no extra, there's none, no extra. This mount sticks down further and it's flat across the bottom. So I lost like an inch there. Uh, and then on top of that, I don't know, can you, can you see, can you see that gap? I don't know if you guys can see the gap. I'll show you over here. So, look at, look at see this? Whatever you want to call it. Okay, well, put this down like this. Bear with me, bear with me. I'm, I only got two hands. So you watch, watch this and watch this, okay? You, can you see that? Here, maybe we turn it around this way. You watch the black. And I'll put the rusty part up. See how much extra? So I thought about grinding it. Just zzz, But then we gotta make sure we get all four of these little prongs ground the right way. Otherwise, what if this one's jamming into the axle tube and this one isn't even touching it and maybe the tip of this one is? Uh, it might not be good is what I'm trying to say. You know, you got some sharp edge and that's you know that's thick steel you got oh yeah look at i'm i'm just covered i'm all freckled i'm a dalmatian now uh you got one of them not right it's gonna either way i'm gonna go check my inventory because I, I thought i had some more stuff so if i find something else to work maybe we'll do that if not i, I will grind it because i mean well i i want to put the traction bars on ladder bars traction bars i don't know what do you guys call it put it down in the comments let me know uh unfortunately like i said the booty of this truck is not going up in the air so she gets no booty lift sad uh future future video maybe in next year probably not no i'm probably just gonna figure out how to put the traction bars on her and i'm gonna drive her and enjoy her All right, here's what I got. So I did find another pair. Like I said, I, th I thought I had another pair, but these are from like Caltrack or something. So they go from the rear end just right up to the leaf spring and that's it. Uh, so we just made a template. It's not a lot that we got to take off, but we marked them all. So we'll hit them all with a grinder and we'll try that. And uh, if there's still a little gap down there, then we'll paint the other side real quick and we'll grind that. The paint's a good trick just so you know how far you went like we only it, just a little bit at a time we don't want to go too much because then it was pointless morning well it might be evening for you guys or well, i don't know what time you're watching this but it's morning for me uh the truck's still on well, it's not really on jack stands maybe one jack stand and one block either way it's still here and unfortunately the little fairies didn't come in last night and grind this piece down for me uh i did grind some and I thought I recorded, but I didn't hit the button. But that's fine, because I got a whole bunch more grinding. That little stencil, that didn't, that didn't do nothing. That was, I should have been more precise on it. But that's fine. Look, I ground it some. It still don't fit, so I'm gonna have to grind it some more. So it seems to fit right in here. So we'll bring this further out, and I'm probably gonna hit this top lip here a little bit with the grinder. And then we'll try to fit her in here because, man, it would be really sad that I took all that stuff apart and I can't make none of it work. So, we'll see what we can do. I'm not going to lie. I wish my welder didn't break. Because then I just 
Most likely. Where'd it go? Just cut this off. Right here. All right. Cut it right off. And then we just weld it on here. And it would be fine. And these ones go up further. Where these ones drop all the way down. So I'm losing, I don't know, almost another inch that I thought I would have been able to add these in. So I, I don't know. Hopefully by the end of the video we can at least have traction bars in. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, got them all ground down. Uh, had to take a good bit out of each side, mostly the top. But either way, got it done. They sit on there nice. And hey, look it, I told you they were longer. Like, it's only like a quarter inch, but they are longer. But you gotta remember, I bought this on Marketplace. I didn't, it wasn't like I ordered it for the truck or nothing. Like, went on Marketplace and all Marketplace gods were like, boom, traction bars. I think I paid $250. And when I was looking up the kit online, I think it was like eight, eight fifty. So a deal is a deal, and I mean, I'll, I'll take it. It works for me. So I'm gonna throw some bushings in here and there and there and everywhere else, and a little rubber stopper where. Hey, I'm back. I don't know. Thing just shut off on me. Uh, yeah, we'll put the bump stop here, and uh, that's all I had to say. And then we'll get it mocked up under the truck and see what we have to cut under there because it's knowing our luck it's not just gonna go right up in place and we're not just gonna be able to drill holes but that's all right we like doing stuff the hard way gotta save money you know we saved money by buying a universal kit that we don't know what it goes to off of marketplace it just cost us our time that works with me I think they're gonna look pretty good under there. What a crappy picture for you guys or video. I'm sorry, let's go see if the other side's any easier to look at. Well, you know, when I'm all done, I'll get it outside so you can get a get a visual. Yeah, they'll do. They'll serve their purpose. I got a little finagling to do to actually uh, mount them on the frame. I'm hoping I don't have to cut no mounts or nothing. I'm hoping I can just, you know, clamp them up there and uh, drill some holes and bolt them down. That would be the nice thing. But, I got a little... Where are you? Stay with me. I push this up. You see the gap for the bump stop? I fit my... It's not, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. So I don't know a whole lot. So I went on old interwebs and I googled how this stuff went in here. Like, because I wanted to turn these around so that bump was up top and the bottom was straight. But I'd say 90% of the pictures I found were all straight to bottom and then up this way. So I put them in like that. And then for the bump stops, I don't like these. Every other traction bar I've ever bought. This piece right here would just mount solid to the frame. There'd be no, this is all extra. So I, I don't know, but it's what we have. And like I said, the welder's broken. So I can't, you know, if I could just cut this and weld the plate across and 
just bolt it to the frame and get rid of this whole bump stop swivel base crap then i would but you know uh broke a welder ain't it's i just i can't i can't do it so we're gonna make this work but i don't that's that one that don't make sense right because then i don't understand how this stuff works all right here's what i got i did a little bad chad measurement at like two inch gap here two finger gap or whatever so two finger gap there and by eyed it uh i'm just gonna nip that out and then that will allow the base to go further over and uh it'll allow everything to sit flush and our bump stop will be uh well stopping on there I still got a little gap up here I've checked everything I can't the other side's tight I've taken measurements I don't know I don't understand I can't figure it out that's no clue I even jacked it up made it nice and tight but as soon as you let jack down pulls it back down so I I don't know when I get a welder this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna jack this up tight I'm gonna build a plate right here boom welded solid both sides and then it's a solid traction bar like every other traction bar that i've ever used uh okay got some new dilemma look at this shiny looks good on there right a little chromage okay well here's my dilemma guys i don't understand they give me all these little right look they fit right through okay so they want me to use these big ones i guess for these spots they don't fit here you see don't fit only fits in three spots this one this one and that one and then look it. it's got it's got nothing on the other side to connect to anyway so like what i don't understand so i was like okay and then i only got you know three nuts for each side because we only got three long bolts for each side so say those are the ones that actually hold it tight right so this would be up here like this. Hold with me guys. One person here trying to figure out how to do this. All right, well. So that's all tight, right? On this end. What well, holds that end from flapping? It's like, I, I don't understand what's going on here. And then check this out check this out so these they go right in there's no nuts for the back they're like they act like they're supposed to screw in right so look at this ready well it's not it's not the easiest thing to screw into but you guys gotta take my word for it this stuff's like it's like threaded how it's like they threaded the wrong piece like help me understand this I'll tighten that screw down and it's not going to hold into this. I got no nuts for the back of it. How's, how's this freaking chrome stay on here? I don't know, guys. I should have just went on old interwebs and went beep, 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 beep. I needed 2002 traction bars that bolt right in. Boom. It would have saved me a lot of time and aggravation. But we'll get it and it'll look good when it's done. So I got to... I gotta find some hardware, I guess. I don't want, I don't, I don't understand. Well, here's what it came up with. Why did we go with gold, you ask? Well, because that's what I had enough, uh, enough to have matching, you know, heads on both sides. I would have picked, you know, something different, but that's what I had. So that's what we used. A lot of this truck was built out of what we had. The other 90% of it was built out of like nine different trucks. But uh, 
I gotta change brake pads on this side. That's another story. Um, and then I'll get the tires back on and maybe we'll get this thing outside and see what they look like in the daylight. That would be cool. Hopefully they look cool because uh, it really sucks I didn't get to add a couple springs in there to bring the booty of the truck up a little bit. But it is what it is. They look pretty snazzy. Well, check it out. It's raining outside. Do you want to know how I can tell? I got a river in the shop. What are you going to do? When it rains, it washes the floor. You got to look at the bright side sometimes. She looks pretty good, guys. I did some other maintenance to her. And I mean, I, I wiped the rims down a little bit. You know, that way they, they look better with the ladder bars. I started dig them. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was doing it wrong for a little bit because I really wasn't having much fun. But uh, as I was getting done, I was starting to enjoy it. Well, we ended up using her. Uh, and the ladder bars stayed in there and the rear end didn't fall out so I, I guess I must have tightened the u-bolts up enough but uh, let's do a walk around on this thing look at her I eat look at I mean just look at her she got all independent front suspension I mean on a square body that's pretty sweet no she rides like a caddy I tried to tuck the frame and everything the best I could. So it's actually a extended six foot bed. Square bodies used to have a massive gap right here. You put your dang whole like fist right through it. But uh, when I did the body swap, I didn't want to cut the frame. So I took a six foot bed and I cut it and I took an eight foot bed and I cut it like three inches longer. That's not the exact measurement. I don't remember the exact measurement. I'm just telling you the story about the truck. And uh, then I welded the two together and that's how I ended up with my configuration that way my wheels fit in my wheel wells nicely and it wasn't all goofy looking i've seen a lot of people do these builds uh there's a billion ways to do it i don't think there's a right or a wrong way really i mean to each their own right so i tried to keep the inside as old school as i could uh this dupli color guys i don't really like it uh it held up okay in some spots and i even used the plastic promotion adhesive whatever and i sanded all the door panels all the plastic but i'm not complaining because this truck i had like seven or eight different colored pieces of plastic and in interior and we made it all somewhat match and flow together uh but either way door panels i bought a whole truck for the seats it was actually the truck i started with weird enough florida truck the sun baked the paint off the roof and uh it looked like somebody took a can opener to it and it just it was rotted off i mean uh, I thought I could buy a roof skin, but I couldn't. So I bought a Suburban. I didn't realize the back right here bumps up on the roof. So by the time it made it all the way to the end of the truck, I would have had to do some funny stuff back here. So either way, eight months of searching, I came across this, which was a two-wheel drive dually. The guy took all the interior out of it. No motor, no transmission. Uh, and I bought it as a a roller with no interior and i slowly pieced it together now i wanted to keep the old school dash I, okay yeah i didn't want to spend two three k to get all fancy digital blah 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 and send my harness out so i sort of redneck built my own harness uh built my own dash i ended up fitting the 2002 cluster in the 88 dash i mean she's not perfect but i mean we got four by four this was a two-wheel drive dually 
when I started. Well, we got four wheel drive, push button too. We got lights. I mean, we even got AC, all new school. It's not killer. I thought it would have been more killer AC than it is, but uh, it works pretty freaking good. Um, kept the old school dash. I mean, I don't know. I had a lot of work into the truck. Uh, square bodies don't come with cup holders, so ain't nothing special, but redneck threw some plywood down and drew some weird design on it with some cardboard and well that's what we came up with but uh look at them ladder bars come on tell me them aren't you can't they came out good look bought some tractors maybe you already watched that video maybe you didn't if you didn't, you're gonna have to come back and watch it. And there was actually two tractors. Future video, maybe, or maybe it, maybe I already played that one. I don't know, I'm getting these videos mixed up. I don't know how all these YouTubers do it, but I'm learning. And uh, hey, thank you guys for all watching and subscribing and liking and commenting. And I really do appreciate that stuff. Look at it, I mean, it's just, it's just sexy. And if you don't think it's sexy, well, I don't know what's wrong with you. I mean, I say each their own, but this truck is sexy. There ain't no, if you don't, it, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, check it out. So they would have came with uh, two like glass headlights. Uh, that's from a 96 Silverado. So it came, or what I did is I put one single plastic housing in there. Uh, the front end's actually off a 91 Suburban. Same thing. A lot of people think the square bodies ended in 88 or whatever, but they kept the big ones. Uh, this truck's she's super fast though look I mean she's so fast the paint can't even hold on just flies right off once we hit that pedal uh, you know what guys I'm gonna stop ranting and blah 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 and showing off Maxine I hope to see you guys all next week and uh, I hope you enjoyed this vehicle sorry it wasn't a will it run or will it make it out in one piece video but I mean come on we worked on Maxine together. That's like one of the best dates we all could ever go on. Love y'all. See you next week.